Hey there, are you interested in interacting with ChatGPT as a tester, learning about how such an application can be verified, and what sorts of testing we can do on the ChatGPT system? Then you've come to the right place. In this video, I'll go through how to approach testing a magical application like ChatGPT, what sort of testing types and techniques we can apply to OpenAI's chatbot, and what testing methods ChatGPT itself recommends. Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Andre Dobra and I'm a full stack test automation developer. The theme of this video is how to best test ChatGPT, the new chatbot powered by artificial intelligence and machine learning from OpenAI. ChatGPT has taken the world by storm for the past few months, offering what seems to be the first conversational AI experience that any human can use and, most importantly, would want to use. This last part is essential since the information supplied by ChatGPT is actually useful and not just regurgitated details from the first page of the Google results associated with the input question. The fact that it works so seamless and can refine its output based on further clarification or demands can make ChatGPT seem magical. Let's not forget, however, that this is still a tool developed by the team at OpenAI and, like with any application, testing is needed to ensure things work as intended and that users are getting what they expect from it. Given its almost magical nature, how do you actually test such a tool? I've wrecked my brain a bit and have come up with multiple scenarios that would verify ChatGPT's functionality via both manual as well as automated means. Before jumping into my actual suggestions, I thought that it would be nice to first ask ChatGPT itself how it would like to be tested. After all, it has a huge data set behind it, and I'm sure that among all that information, there are details related to testing huge artificial intelligence or machine learning projects. As you can see, it starts with some pretty generic types of testing applicable to any application. It then extrapolates some of these details to come up with black box testing and then with non-functional testing, aka performance testing. And finally, ends with a classic, ask the users how they feel about the app's quality. Enough about an AI's notions about testing. Let's use our old squishy monkey brain to come up with a few ideas. Much like its first suggestion, we can start with a broad black box approach. We input some data and examine the output to see if it conforms to our requirements. With an ML project, however, output can fluctuate in enormous ways, almost as big as the training data used by OpenAI. However, that doesn't mean we can't analyze the output. First, the language is supported. Here, we go into the realm of internationalization. Is the text outputted relatively correct or just gibberish in a foreign language? Some outputs and role-playing will lead to intentional grammar errors, so we can try to see if the output reaches a certain percent of legibility. We already have other ML tools like Grammarly that we can use to rate the output from ChatGPT. Other scenarios where outputs have similar elements, asking ChatGPT for illegal information, such as the recipes of drugs, how to do unethical things. In these situations, OpenAI hard-coded stops to prevent the tool from giving relevant but not intended details. Another impressive and maybe scary feature is the capability of ChatGPT to generate working code. We can do a bit of testing here, asking it to generate something in a specific language, taking the output and running it through a static checking tool to at least verify that it may work if it is compiled. For those less exposed to security testing, always treat code you didn't write with maximum scrutiny, as you never know what unintended side effects it may have on your machine. For some general smoke testing, we can have a batch of prompts that check that information is given, information is useful, and information respects specific prompts such as role playing. One key feature of ChatGPT is the ability to refine or refactor previously given answers based on additional demands or details. As such, we can also extend these general prompts to contain multiple steps and gauge again the aforementioned points. In terms of automation, without knowing that much about the inner workings of the whole system, we can just speculate a few things. First and foremost, general UI functionality can easily be checked with the likes of Selenium. Verify elements are present, interactable, and do what they need to do. We can also extend this UI automation to help in smoke testing, as we can load up a set of prompts, execute them, 
and then the output gets stored in a central location so that it can be examined by humans for correctfulness. Other places where we can attempt automated testing include, of course, the integration and system. We can target the platform and its dependencies to ensure things are working smoothly after every release or deploy. We can also throw in some automated chaos testing, turning off essential systems to see if recovery is happening as expected. Given that ChatGPT is an application built to be accessed by all users of the World Wide Web, performance testing is also essential. After simulating a huge influx of users, we check to see if answers are given within predefined performance parameters speed, accuracy, etc. As we can see here, I caught ChatGPT right in such a period of inactivity where it had to wait quite a lot of seconds until it loaded the next pieces of the text prompt. While ChatGPT seems like one of the best contenders for the biggest tech breakthrough in the last decade or so, at the end of the day, applying basic testing to it isn't that hard. I'm sure that the OpenAI team has a wide array of testing methods for their application, but using the examples I gave above, we can at least gauge to a certain amount of the quality of the experience offered by their chatbot. Do you have additional suggestions? Feel free to leave a comment below. Don't forget to like and share this video if you found it useful. And subscribe, since I plan on making way more cool stuff in the future. Thanks for watching. Cheers.